Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to create our new Laravel app. Then after that, we're going to install Laravel Breeze. Then after that, we're just we're going to set up our environment variables. All right, so I've got get bash open right here. Now I'm using Zamp. Now you can use Laragon, Homestead, Valet, or even Docker. Now Docker is quite nice if you're going to work in Teams. Now in my case, I'm, I'm the only one that's going to work on this project. So for me, Zamp works quite fine for that. But if you're working in a team, Docker is excellent and quite popular to use right now. All right, so let me quickly install. Let's create our Laravel app. So let's just say Laravel new. We're using Laravel installer, so Laravel new, and then what we're just going to do is I'm going to call this one Badger, all right? So basically this project is we're going to create an API, and in the front end we're going to basically use Next.js, Nux.js, and maybe an other JS framework, but the whole project is about writing articles about honey badges. All right, so let's quickly press enter. Now, while that's installing, I'll see you guys after this. Right, so our app is successfully installed. Now, what we're going to do now is I'm just going to clear this quickly. So let me just clear that. And what I want to do, I want to CD into that project. So I'm just going to CD into Badger. So as you can see, I'm in it right now. And then what I want to do is I just want to open it with Visual Studio Code. So let me just open that. All right, so as you can see, we got our project open right here now the, what we're going to do now is let me just quickly show you before we do that because we're going to require laravel breeze for basically our auth scaffolding now as you can see we don't have an auth right here it's for our auth but we're going to use the api obviously for the route for our api the next thing under resources views you will see we have a welcome view right here okay so that will get removed as well as the package.json right here let's quickly install laravel breeze all right, so we're going to use Composer to do that. So Composer require, and then we're going to say Laravel and then forward slash breeze, right? And then dash dash def, like this. I right, press enter. So while that is busy being required, All right? So awesome stuff. So let's clear this. Now, what we want to do now is we just want to do PHP artisan install, uh, actually breeze. Uh, install and now we just want to add the API now basically it's going to give us an API or scaffolding now as you can see this package.json it will remove this it will add the author out right here and it under views right here it will remove that views right there so okay so let's just do that so as you can see the views is empty now the author outs are here I'm going to go to that soon as you can see it removes the package because we don't need any views for the front end because we're creating an API. So let me just close this off. So let's quickly go to our routes right here under author routes. Now, as you can see, it created a register route, a login route, a forgot password route, a reset, verify, an email, and a lockout. Now, what we're going to do if we go to our app, HTTP, controllers right here you will see that we have a folder right now for the auth controller so all those are in here basically for our authentication all right so the next thing that we want to do now is we want to set up environment variables all right let's start off with the first one the app name right here we're going to change this and this needs to be badger all right for the app name the environment, since we're developing it, this is going to be in the local development. But if you're in production, this will change to production like this. Okay. But for local, we leave it like this. But if you set your, uh, basically, if this is in production, make sure that you set this to false. Okay. Because you don't want the error information, quite nice information, not to be displayed to malicious users. Okay. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to set up our database. So in my case, I have a database named Badger. So let me quickly show you that. So as you can see, I've got my database right there called Badger. All right. So if you have a username, please add the username in there and your password right there. All right. So that's all done. And I just want to leave a note here for anybody that wondering what Laravel version I'm using. I'm using Laravel 8.82 right now laravel 9 has not been released yet so i just wanted to leave it 
right there. All right, so if you guys have any questions, please ask them for me in the comment section. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Now, the another thing is what we're going to do in the next episode is we're going to set up our models. All right, so thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Adios.